Konnichiwa, artist. That means hello in Japanese. For today's Outrageous Art lesson, our goal is that we will learn about art from other cultures and use the elements and principles of art to design our own origami village landscape. So, the first thing that we want to know is, first of all, what is origami? And what are the elements of art? Well, origami is the ancient art of folding paper. It is kind of, there are lots of different kinds of origami. It's rated from easy all the way up to very advanced. Most origami, you have to start with a square. Now, the principle of art that we want to learn for this project is called symmetry. Symmetry in art means that both sides are exactly the same. So if you look at this um, drawing or this design, both sides, if you draw a line down the middle, that's called the line of symmetry, both sides match. In art, this is called balance. With this picture, it has more than one line of symmetry. You can draw a line down here and a line across. With our origami houses, they can have one or maybe even more lines of symmetry but they need at least one line of symmetry going down the middle. Now, before we get started on making our origami house, we need to think about what do we know about Japan? What have we learned about symmetry and what have we learned about Japan so that we can make it look like our village is actually in a Japanese landscape? So, the first thing that we wanna do is make sure that we understand symmetry and the element of art that we're using in this project is called space. Now in a landscape, it's very important that you understand in the things that are very, very far away are gonna look smaller. Things that are larger are gonna look closer to you. So we're gonna make a variety of different houses, a variety of sizes, and some people even got very creative since Pokemon comes from Japan and they combine their origami houses to make a tall tower or a castle. Someone even made an origami boat. So, you can get really creative with this project, but you do have to understand balance and symmetry. Now, an origami house would, would probably be rated easy on the scale of origami folding. We're gonna start with your large house first. So you're gonna need a large square of paper and the first step that you're gonna do with the folding is you're gonna take your square and you're going to fold it down. So, I'm gonna take the top of the, of the square and fold it down, and now I've made a rectangle. That is step one. Now you can try it. Now we open up the square, and we're gonna take the top of the square and you're gonna fold it down to that horizontal line that's in the middle. And then you're gonna make a sharp crease. It's very important in origami that you make the edges very even and make a sharp crease with your fingernail. So I did that to the bottom and the top, and now I have one, two, three. Now once I've done that, then I'm going to do step four, which is Fold the house, I think, or fold the, the rectangle over. And then I'm going to open it back up. Haha, ha, I made a mistake. Okay. So these are the steps just to recap. We folded the square in half, made a crease. Now you have a rectangle. You open it up, fold the bottom into the middle, fold the top into the middle. Then you're going to take the edges, and I turned it over, and I folded those two edges back. Now you should see four squares, or four flaps. Once you have those four flaps, then you can take your finger and fold one of the flaps over to make a triangle, and a triangle, and once you flip it over, you have a house. Now it's perfectly symmetrical. I have a triangle on this side, a triangle on that side, and then I can start drawing some decorations that actually look like a Chinese house. 
So this one you can see has a doorway, windows, really neat designs. And I like to use my iPad or my computer to look up what some of the Japanese houses look like. Now, once you've made three houses, you need a small, a medium, and a large origami house. Then you are going to start drawing your landscape on white paper. Now you can turn your paper sideways or tallways, it's up to you. But like I said, I like to have a picture to look at. So that's when I use my computer or my iPad to look up what the landscape looks like. 